Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to look at this PV Sanpera 2 foot pedal. Um, if you have one of these, you may have noticed that sometimes the pedals don't really work very well, specifically the toe switches. One of two things can happen. Either you press down and nothing happens, so what's supposed to happen is you press down, it clicks, and it switches to like a wah pedal on this side. And on this side, when you press it, it clicks and it opens up a tuner. Otherwise, it works as a volume pedal if it's not engaged. And this does nothing if it's not engaged. So sometimes you'll press it down and it won't click. Other times, it's way too sensitive, like this. You hear that? So let's say you're trying to turn up your volume. Just turned on the tuner. Now you could say, well, why don't you just leave it halfway? But if you're like me, you want to be able to make sure your amp is able to be wide open with the volume up all the way. And if it's too sensitive, it's going to engage the tuner. A lot of people will completely disengage the tuner um, or they'll disengage the wall if they don't want to use it. So today we're going to go over how to fix that problem and how to adjust the buttons inside these foot switches. So the first thing you're going to want to do is flip it over. Once you got it flipped over, you're going to notice there's like a million screws around the outside here. You can disregard these little feet ones. You don't need to do anything with those but you do have to take all of these off. I will say I'm thankful because a lot of stuff nowadays don't have exposed screws that make it easy to get into, but this is literally as simple as unscrew all the screws. So I'm gonna use my little electric screwdriver here and unscrew all the screws. Once you've got all the screws off, it's as simple as grabbing this plate. It should just come out. It's not held in by anything and pull it away. All right, so now we're looking at the inside here and you can kind of see how it works. So. You've got these PCBs here. These are your buttons on the bottom of the pedal. You got these boards here. They're your buttons on the top of the pedal. You have these boards here. These are the LED lights that go to each of the pedals. And what we're gonna focus on are these pieces right here and these boards right here. So I'm gonna zoom in on one of those and we're gonna talk about it. So the way this works is from the inside, as you can see, there's a little button right here, okay? This piece here is attached to the pedal on the other side. So when you press the pedal down, let me lift it so it makes more sense. So when you press the pedal down, see I'm moving the pedal on the other side. When you push it down all the way, it presses the button. So if it's not working, if you're, if you're trying to press it down and it won't press, there's two ways you can address this problem. The first, you'll notice that there's a little screw right here. You can simply tighten or loosen this screw. In the case that it's not working, you simply loosen the screw until it's long enough to make contact. I would recommend that you only give enough that you gotta apply a little bit of force with your foot to get it to engage. Otherwise, you're gonna have the problem we talked about at the beginning, which is the problem that I have. That is, it's way too easy to activate the button. So that's the first way. As you can see, this is pretty much as tight as it's gonna go, right? So what, what do I do? There is another way. If you look down here, you will see there's a Phillips head. You can actually loosen this piece altogether, move it out of the way, or you know, move it up a little bit until you get it right where you want it. So I'm gonna grab my screwdriver here, and you're not gonna need to loosen it all the way. Really, you just need to loosen it a tiny bit Loosen it a little bit, just that much. As you can see, I am able to move it a little bit, see? So if I push it up like this, and then as I'm pushing it up, I'm gonna tighten that screw back down. Keep it in that position. Let's see. And now, I want you to look at this. So remember how before, it, as, if it, as soon as it touched, it was engaging? Look. Now it's not enough. I'm pushing it as hard as I can, and it is not working. So that's the problem you might have had at the beginning of this video. So to resolve that, you can do the opposite of what I just did, or you can do what I'm about to do right now. You can grab some needle nose pliers. I don't have a socket that's small enough that to fit above the button here. And you can grab it like this and just kind of twist it, loosen it just a little bit. Okay, so I just loosened it, not even a whole turn. And would you look at that? That's enough. But 
it's a little bit too much. So, trial and error. I'm gonna, and you saw how little I turned it. Let's do about like that. Still a bit too easy to press. Trial and error. Let's tighten it a little bit more. What I'm looking for is for it to just barely engage. I wanna have to apply force to turn that tuner on or to engage that wah pedal. Okay, here, it's not doing anything. So I think I just need to barely turn it just a little bit. Still not enough. So I'm gonna turn a little bit more. And there you go. It's hard to get it exactly right. There it is. So to give you an example, I'm gonna zoom this back out and show you what I did here. Okay, so I turned the amp on, I connected the cable, because I wanna show you what we did. Pay attention to this screen. Right now it's just showing the name of my preset. So the left one we didn't work on, okay? Look how easy it is to activate the tuner. We didn't work on it, it was very easy. Watch this. See that? Barely, just barely. See that? It shouldn't be that easy. Let's say you wanna turn your volume up. All right, volume, oh damn it, turned on the tuner. Okay, oh, turned off the tuner, okay. So that's the problem that we went to, wanted to address, right? So we did work on the one on the right. So check this out. If I just apply a little bit of force, nothing happens. I can put it all the way up. It doesn't do anything. But when I apply force, check it out. Light turns on. It's on the wah pedal. Now it's off. On, off. Just barely pressing it, nothing. I can successfully turn it all the way up without it activating, you know, simulating some drummer next to you, right? It's shaking, got loud bass going on, boom, nothing. Use your foot and hit it. There you go. Oh, and I'm not exaggerating. That actually happens with this. Before I made this adjustment, the bass player's amp and the drummer we're actually making the switches turn on and off because they were so sensitive that the vibrations were actually causing the switch to engage. So there you go. That's how you fix your sensitivity issues with the PV Sanpera 2 foot switch. The mechanics are the same for the Sanpera 1, by the way, if you're having toe switch problems with that one. Same process, pretty much the same parts, and Either do what I did or do the opposite of what I did, depending on what issue you have. Thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate you. Please like and subscribe. I will list this part. I will list an amp that goes with this part in the description if you're interested. I highly recommend these Viper amps. I think they're really good. We will do a review on the one that I have here in the near future. If you want to buy anything from Fender, you can use the link in the description. It'll help the channel a lot. And you can sign up for Fender Play. You'll get a week for free if you use my link in the description. Thank you very much again. Appreciate you. Have a nice day and keep on rocking.